Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer, and we're returning to our Let's Play of Command Modern Air Naval Operations. We are playing as NATO, we are being attacked by Russia. There have been a lot of air battles over the Baltic countries, and we're trying to, be, to gather our forces. So, uh, we've just in Estonia over here um, won a bit of an air fight. Well, we lost one of our typhoons. Uh, Eurofighter Typhoons that just came over from the UK to reinforce us over here. And nevertheless, these guys are landing now, so that should be okay. We've got a couple of Russian fighters and bombers uh, around here. And we've got a couple of outflights down here. So we've got four F-15s. More than enough um, Russian fighters, though. So let's go a little bit up, up over here towards the Baltic, I think. You guys are coming in from... From the UK, I believe. Right, so that should be okay. Uh, then we got two Raptors here. They have more, a little bit of a backup solution. Uh, we've got a couple of Eurofighters down here. They should be coming in here. And they hopefully have been reassigned to this area over here. Uh, we also got more Eurofighters coming in this way. Um, and I think I would like you to be based also in Poland over here. These guys were coming in from Rostock. There are many more units here in Rostock. 14 more Eurofighters from the Germans. So that's okay, we're going to leave them over here, they're going to be on a short mission, sort of. It's, it's, mm, well, not quite, it's about half an hour to Königsberg or Kaliningrad there, so that should be okay. But I think what we can do um, is launch a couple of these guys here from Denmark. Um, so we can A, bring them in closer to Bornholm, a couple of F-16s, and B, we can also um, start to engage a couple of these guys down here, because I think they will be uh, launching more SC-27s. Uh, from this airport up and over there. Last thing I want to point out before we uh, go ahead and start the episode really is that we are seeing a submarine over here. Um, or we have been seeing it two minutes ago. We don't know whether it's hostile, but I very much suspect that it is. So, and let's try to come a little bit that direction and try to intercept it with our submarine, with this Dutch submarine, the Walrus, over here. So, right, that being said, I think we can jump in and start the game over here. See what's going to happen while I uh, shortly sip on my coffee. Yeah, so these F-16s are returning home. I think they are based somewhere in Germany. Uh, we've got the old strategy right now is that over here, uh, we want to take out Kaliningrad with all of its air defenses. It's a pretty hefty, hefty target for us. Um, it's blocking our reinforcement routes, so that's an issue. Uh, we want to take that out uh, in about five I think about five hours or so, we will be having enough forces to launch a new attack uh, with all of the units that are currently being rearmed down here in Spunker and Tal. So all of these guys here are bombers, and in about five hours or so, the last ones of these should be ready. We could engage a little bit earlier, but I don't think that's worthwhile. I think also somewhere over here in Schleswig Air Base, maybe. Uh, we do have a couple of tornadoes, also about five hours. So yeah, I think five hours is pretty good. Uh, time to start the attack over there. You know what? You guys can go a little bit further towards the south over here. Um, let's also bring you actually on, on a loitering speed so you, that you're learning, burning a little bit less fuel. Right. So, big issue. Take out Kaliningrad. In the meantime, we have two objectives. First, we want to protect the remaining bridges over here from any Russian bomb incursion. And B, we want to start attritioning uh, their air force over here. All of these things mostly, except these SC-24s, our fighters, uh, so we want to thin out the fighter herd a little bit, uh, make life easier a little bit for us in the future, so that should be great. We also got these F-15s over here, and maybe we're going to dive in, uh, do a little bit of an attack. We've got four F-15s with 16 missiles, so they should be able to do a little bit of something at the very least. You guys are coming up towards this contact. Uh, by the way, there is a contact over here, which is considered a false target. So probably just some um, artifact. And that should be okay. Down here are a couple of tankers. Quite as important. You guys are returning to base. That's okay. Some guys over there can't really fly into this area. So we're not gonna. And that's okay. don't think we have anyone over Finland at this moment. Yeah, we don't. Okay, so that is all right. And we do have a couple of Russian ships over here, some of which are a little bit damaged. Specifically this guy and this guy. So uh, what we actually, you, you sir, can actually go in this naval base over here. I think, yeah, these two guys over here, um, these can be launched as a group. They have a couple of Tomahawks, no, Harpoons, 
um, that we can launch at these ships. So let's do that. It's going to take about 10 minutes. Uh, that should be okay. This is an airbase. We've got, we've got a couple of boats over here. Uh, but you guys are pretty much out of any guided weapons. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. So I'm not sure whether there are any weapons anywhere else. There doesn't seem to be to me that many more missiles anywhere around. Or are there? Maybe even over here? Well, I don't see any magazines on any of these naval bases. Except over here. Yeah, except you do not really have any magazines. How about over here? Yeah, so it, it seems like our um, aircraft there are a little bit, sorry, our, our boats there are a little bit um, without any purpose. Wait a minute. Is time not as advancing over here? It is. It's just extremely slow. It's not even a second for a second, so this is running a little bit too slow. It's probably because there are that many units around um, and all of the calculations are happening at this time. I've got a submarine over here. Oh, there are a couple of people emerging from Lask. You guys um, should also come over here. I think we will be trying to engage these guys. Um, just do give me a second. Here we are then, back. Sorry, just needed to turn down the volume a little bit. Right, these guys are coming up now. All of the Danes will be coming up shortly. We've got a couple of Danes over here as well. Um, and you don't really have that many weapons. You know what? You are based from Bornholm. So you know what? You can actually go ahead and land. I think that should be alright. We've got a couple of Eurofighters returning to base up over there. That's okay. And um, you know what? This Minesweeper should actually try to run away. And that's okay. Magazines. Yeah, that's just, just countermeasures. Well, these MiG-29s here would be a tempting target, wouldn't they, now? You know what? Let's actually go towards over there. Try to intercept them. Be on cruise speed over here. Maybe we can intercept this, this pair of two, two aircraft. You actually should be outranging them, which is pretty lovely. And maybe that's going to help a little bit with our, with our capabilities there. Right, other than that, I think we are fine. We can maybe accelerate time a little bit over here. Probably the next thing that we do need to worry about are the Danes launching. Everyone over there seems to be fine. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can take these guys out. We do have about two hours worth of fuel left, so that's okay. I guess also we can bring this surface group here a little bit more towards Tallinn. I think that should be okay. Do you belong to us? Yeah, I think I'll want you to group up with these guys soon enough. Let's try to bring you on a similar course. You're a little bit faster than them, so that's okay. Good. Some aircrafts are ready in Estonia. That is nice to see. Let's see over here. So yeah, flying can openers. Six typhoons. Time to ready. Completing your landing. And you're on a standard combat air patrol. Whereas you guys are on heavy. And the difference is just the short range missiles. I don't really mind the short range missiles that much. You're gonna take a couple of seconds here just to be reloaded, that's okay. You're coming in there. These F-16s have now launched, so let's bring these guys up over here just on straight path. I think that's gonna be alright. You guys are loading up there, yep, yeah, aren't you? Yes. Okay, these F-16s are coming in good. No updated information yet on these guys over there. How about these aircraft? Just a second, completing landing, taxing to parking spot. Okay, it's gonna take about two minutes. You know what, actually, let's check whether we can already. No, we cannot. Okay, fine. Fine, that's okay. Good. You guys closing in, that's okay. No information on the sub. You guys are simply returning to base, that's okay. I think that's information on these guys. Are you trying to intercept or something? You might be. I'm not sure whether they are trying to intercept these uh, raptors. If so, that would certainly be interesting. 
Got a couple of SU-35s over there and a couple of MiG-29s. These bombers would be interesting to take out, but I don't think we can. Alright. I'm being impatient over here? Yes, I am. Just been 30 seconds. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You are okay. You are returning to some home base. You are okay. Any of these guys here can have actually already been assigned to Bornholm itself. And in Bornholm, there's a flight of three aircraft landing, so it's all a little bit mixed up. But you guys here are pretty much ready, actually. So you can, you could sort it at any moment. And you are going to be about 30 minutes or so. Ooh, interesting, these guys have apparently veered off a little bit, so they might be on an intercept course. Or they might be turning around. A new contact, skunks. That's interesting. Where's that? Detected by Milech. Skunk would be a surface vessel, wouldn't it? I don't see any. Alright, we'll be fine. Nothing down here. 160 miles. Interesting. Who's me ledge one? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Okay, so these guys up over here are turning around actually. So that does leave these SU-35s. Maybe we can try to intercept them. And they're actually coming in for us as well. You can clearly see as we're going up north, they're coming in due south. And um, they, we are outranging, well, we have about the same range actually. So that certainly is interesting. Um, we have the same range, but do we have the same weaponry? These guys, I think we're using mostly something like that. What's the speed? 2,225. And our speed, the speed on our missiles is... What? I think these guys also didn't have... Yeah, our speed is a little bit higher. Okay, let's assign, start to assign weapons over here. Okay, so I think what we can do is assign two, assign two, right, so we've got four missiles coming in to each of these guys. We can also turn on our sensors. Should give us a little bit of a better vector. And then what I presume that we could do is go on a low altitude. It's going to burn more fuel, but it's going to be fine at this angle, I think. And that will allow us to dodge their anti-aircraft weapons a little bit better. Right, so that should be okay. Great. Submarines still not spotted. How about you guys up here? These typhoons. You're being... You're being readied. And it's going to take you three hours. We could also go on the heavy, but it's only going to increase your shot. Well, intercept would be nice. I think intercept would be nice, because that means carrying more of these... Long way, long range missiles. So yeah, let's do that. That I think is very reasonable. Good. Right. I think there are some more Eurofighters in the UK, but they're still being prepared. You guys are coming in over here. That's good. Still no news on this submarine. You are not trying to intercept us. I think you're just being generally in the area. You, sir, are coming in down there. That's okay. Let's bring our Raptors a little bit closer in behind our fighters here. Which are being jammed, but I think it's fine given the range here. So soon we should see them starting to launch their missiles at these guys. We don't have enough fuel here. About an hour or so. 
We're at a thousand feet now. Starting to launch their first missile at the first guy here in the group. We're su certainly soon going to see them launch as well. Yeah, they should be launching very soon, actually. So four missiles, six missiles off. It's actually increasing your your few, your range here because you're carrying less and it's going to cause less drag. That's okay. Good. Missiles are coming in and they are coming in fast. Can I actually ask you to go even lower? So hopefully you're avoiding radar contact over here. Eight missiles streaming towards the, these two aircraft. Let's hope that we're going to cause a lot of hits here. And I think soon we're going to see them launch. Very, very soon, I suspect. We're going to get the brr brr brr. Oh, they're actually accelerating by, by a significant margin over here. So they are starting to, to run away here. Yeah, and there we are. A couple of missiles in the air here. That's fine. But they are starting to turn away over here. And that is certainly interesting. S apparently he's turning back in. Interesting. This guy also accelerated briefly. I think that's what they do before they launch. Yeah. There we go. So that they give... Um, they, they're basically accelerating a little bit uh, for the missile as it comes along. Okay, let's start to run away a little bit over here. There we guys. Why are you not actually turning? Let's actually go to real time over here. I think things are starting to look a little bit weird. Okay, you guys, can you go this way, please? Engaged offensive. Okay, you're trying to maintain a target lock. That's fine. That's that's. I appreciate that. More missiles? Yeah, and they're over here. Okay. Interesting. So we've got what six or six or so missiles in the air from their side. Yeah, that's what we're seeing at least. Okay, let's see whether we will be able to take them out over there. It's not looking too bad. They are coming in nicely. Not sure whether... Yes, very good. Um, let's stop here. Let's take these guys. And I don't think we can retarget you, can we? No, that's fine, okay. So we've got more missiles coming in there. And um, you know what? What we're going to do here is turn off the radar. And turn these guys around. On minimum altitude. So that hopefully these missiles here are going to miss us. Not sure whether we're going to succeed over there. Yeah, we've lost contact with these guys though. So... A little bit of the downside there, but yes, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, you guys need to go faster. Hopefully, we're we're going to be able to to take this guy out over there. Got all of these guys here still around. Yeah, but we are so low that I think we might be good over here. We might be we might be able to outrun them, and that would be great. What are you doing, actually? Okay, let's try to bring you a little bit out. Maybe you just didn't dock properly. Right, and these guys are starting to... It's really starting to look as though you're coming... Coming past this. A couple of contacts has been lost. I wonder why. Yeah, but you can see all of the calculations going in here. It looks like we uh, might be, we might actually be good over here. Let's adjust our course a little bit. You've got about nine minutes until your bingo fuel. That's okay, and um, because I think very soon, I'm gonna drop back to cruise speed over here. Cruise speed. That's okay. And these missiles are now starting to run out of fuel as well. That's good. Good news. Okay, and um, let's go back to low altitude here uh, on cruise speed so that we are gaining some fuel efficiency. And 
maybe maybe we can even engage these as a 24 so that would be great that would be good good target these guys are reducing our radar power um, and have been doing that for quite a while now Ooh, by the way we can see now that this we have a new target lock on this guy and he's well within our range so what we're going to do is we are going to launch in this direction so we are going to do a bearing only launch of one of our torpedoes there we go can we do anything on this guy full speed cruise speed let's go full speed over here or should we actually check on this guy so what's your range so you're burning oh my god I can't calculate that Oh, there we go. Okay, kinematic range, so the range that this guy can actually travel would be 70 miles, 70.5 miles. And this here is a distance here, yeah, so that's well well within your parameters. Good, okay, so we've got a torpedo in the water there. And um, you guys are starting to do something at the very least, and you have a little bit of fuel. So that's great. Um, let's actually allocate weapons already here to the wards, these SU-24 fences. I think what we're going to do is two missiles on each of you. That's okay, good. Right, you are traveling there, that's okay. You're traveling on a very low altitude that I appreciate as well. Here it's been a couple of seconds till we, since we last saw these guys. Some distance. But he's, he, if this is an enemy submarine, it's actually at the surface? Really weird. Okay, well, we'll see. Good. You guys are coming up towards this direction. Can I actually ask you to come a little bit like this? Yeah, so these SC-24s are within range. But I want to wait a little while here before I give the command to... Uh, cruise speed is fine, actually. Don't need to burn quite as much fuel. You're doing weird things over here. Yeah, we want to get them in range a little bit more definitively, and that should be okay. Ooh, this submarine here. It's apparently starting to turn around. So, you know what? What we're going to do here is come a little bit closer towards it. I think we can actually run directly at it. And I am going to ask you to another torpedo at this guy right and let's assign this target this torpedo towards this target here as well losing a little bit of contact with him but I think we'll be alright and these guys are at some point gonna turn on their own radar homing oh, sorry sonar homing devices so that should also be okay Good. I mean, these guys are still very, very close to their border. I think we're going to be all right over there. You here, um, you can actually loiter. I would like you to stay around in the area for a little while. Just offer some protection to us. Some of these guys down here are fine. We are starting to see these F-16s coming down there, so that's okay too. Could start to launch the other guy as well. But let's wait a little while over there. Okay, you know what? There we go. Lots of missiles being launched there. And why are my aircraft doing funny things like that? Are you all turning around? You should not be turning around. This is really weird. Engaged offensive. That doesn't look as though you're engaged offensively. Really weird. Okay. Let's accelerate time here slightly. It's been a minute since we last saw the submarine. So it's probably diving. 
AM 120Ds are coming in towards over here. That's good to see. A couple of aircrafts are starting to converge on our airfields there, I think. Well, that's probably just as 27s I think that's just fighters. Most of today's uh, aircraft are, of course, multi-role aircraft, so sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell. So do you want to ping him? Enemy, you've got a lot of torpedoes. You know what? One torpedo or more or less is not going to change the course of the game. So let's launch another one at you since we are at it. Right. Um, you guys, something is weird in your doctrine. Tight, 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 no. Let's actually give you a no over here. Damage. It's only when you're exhausted that you should redeploy. Hmm, weird. Right, at the very least you are coming in. Well, I would actually like the EU to guide these missiles in here a little bit more closely. Can you turn around? You're not doing anything for me. Weird. Really weird. Okay, so how is it looking here with these torpedoes? Hmm, very close actually. I wonder though, if these cars are not running faster, you might lose contact there, unless we start to actively ping, but actively pinging is such a, such a dreadful exercise. We've also got uh, these guys here, over here, were launched, we've got 16 harpoons. So what I would like to do first is maybe launch a single harpoon at you. Launch maybe three at you. And four at you. Maybe two more at you. Maybe one more at you. And one more at you over here. Let's see. Got a bit of a weird pathfinding here. That does leave us with a couple of missiles, not that many, but at least some. Not too sure how well their air defenses are. We've got four left. I think that's okay. If two don't come in, come through over here. We still have capabilities to attack a little bit else. Okay, attacks happening over there. But apparently not happening too well. Yeah, that's because these guys did go off on a different course there. Let's get you towards a low altitude. And you know what? You can actually go on loiter speed. Don't need to be need you to be faster than that. Really? Just come on, just engage these guys. Uh, everything yet that you've got and don't you turn around okay fine good so turn two is over there Peter's still in the water still haven't still haven't regained contact over there and you know what I think we want more f-15s to be over that area over there and I think they are in I don't think they are Milden Hall are they in Lake and Heath that's certainly a lot of f-15s you guys are all in strike package. I think you guys here though should be yeah. So let's actually grab four of you guys, launch them as a group. And you're gonna come back over here. Where you're trying to do things like this. Good. Good stuff. Right, over here though, in the torpedo. In this submarine fight. Do we wanna ping? I think not. I'm, uh, maybe once these guys are a little bit closer towards over here. So they were running six knots, so it's been about three minutes, so 
They could be. Oh, roundabout in the circle, that's about right, yeah. Oh, there we go. We have regained contact over there. It's going 10 knots now, so it's a significant speed, but I think I think we are going to be all right over here. It's running away straight from us. Right, all of these missiles are coming in, so that's nice to see. A couple of MiG-29s are coming back towards us. It's not that many... Well, these guys here, I think, are anti-radiation anti capable. So they are trying to deplete our uh, combat capabilities in some regards. You there, I think, should start to engage those guys. And you'll be alright, hopefully. Right, so let's see about this over here. Missiles are coming in, and since these guys are still bunched up, I think some of these guys might be retargeting um, each other. No! I want you to stay on target. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Nice. Good. Okay, um, let's come back over the Baltic then and um, so what I would like you to do is actually I think you can come up so, sort of straight straight north yeah just keep a little bit of a distance towards uh, Koenig Kaliningrad oh these harpoons are now coming in that's good to see and um, you guys here again go on a high altitude. Or maybe not. Okay, so no, these are surface to air missiles over here. So yeah, you've been you've been fully engaged now. So what we can do then is fire four harpoons at this guy, since too obviously we're not enough to overwhelm him. We can also see that there is some some things going on over there. These guys are coming in as well. Right, so that's okay. Good. Mm, you guys are on what? Which altitude? You know what? Let's get simply get you towards high altitude and cruise speed, please. Okay, so another harpoon shot down. Four four harpoons going in for this guy. One was shot down. Two. Just two more. They do have very good close air defenses, I have to say. Three missiles shot down of the four that we launched at this guy. Another one up there. Nice! Nice hit though. Good stuff. So the last missile did make it through. Five missiles remaining on this guy, off the six that we originally launched. Ah, four. Out of these two salvos. And they are very far away, and these other guys were damaged, so they were probably a little bit less well equipped. Only three missiles remaining. Only two. And there's a fair distance between these guys, so I don't think we are going to be able to punch through over here. Yeah, there goes the next lost missile. And... Nice! Good stuff, so I think there was a hit. Not sure. Not entirely sure. It might have been just... Are they dropping down in speed though? Maybe they are. It's hard to tell. Okay, and four missiles are coming. Well, if we had only, maybe it was a dot. I don't know. Right, you guys are, are starting to run away from over there. That's okay. You do have a lot of fuel left. So I think you'll be fine. These guys, I think, are being pulled over there. Not necessarily the, good, the best idea. And we've got these torpedoes coming in over here. This is this is starting to look so good for us, actually. Uh, at least at least in terms of naval engagements. Right, you're starting to run away fairly fast there. Let's try to keep up with him. Don't want him to run away too fast. Okay, good. Right, four more missiles coming in over there. Um, you, sir, can return to base. 
I would like to take out these 27s with these uh, F-16s over here. Polish Air Force F-16s, but probably not very likely. A lot of SU-27s over here as well. Another thing that we don't know. Lots of aircraft streaming back towards their bases over there. So, what's going to happen first? The torpedo? Yeah, I think so. What's that? That's a distance from of a mile. Oh, but these harpoons here down here are being engaged first. Okay, four missiles were streaming in towards this guy. It's, now it's only three. This guy did manage to shoot down two missiles uh, before that. Well, it's starting to look a little bit promising. There are some gunshots coming in. So we might lose another missile, but probably not all three. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So only one guy's here. One of these guys here is remaining. You can go back to base. Right. And of course, these four ships are still remaining as well. Okay. How about the submarine here? Do we know what type of submarine it is? No. Contact report doesn't tell us anything, but I'm fairly confident it's an enemy submarine. Ooh, on torpedo mist over here, I think. It might be turning around. Yeah, it is. But I'm not sure whether that's going to be enough. Also got this torpedo here. Starting to come in. Okay, come on, just, just impact it now. Starting to turn around, so it might be launching torpedoes at us very soon. Probably going to hear that. And, and there we go. What was that? Penetration? Ooh. Impactive v -Borg. I think that's a Kilo class submarine. And we da did... I've never seen that. To, to damage a submarine but not kill it? That is... That is extraordinary. Okay, what's this? Oh, you're just probably launching at the harpoons, aren't you? It's a little bit silly. What are you launching at? I guess it's the harpoons. What? So, we've just no received notice that SHAPE is going to commit ground forces to expel the Russians. There are several squadrons of strike craft assembling and a carrier strike group being redeployed to the northeast. Turkey is threatening to expand the conflict. In all likelihood, Russia will back down and we can put things back in order of the next couple of days. Well done. <laughs> okay, that's that's surprising. We've only been in this conflict for four and a half hours. Um, that's 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 certainly extremely surprising. So um, our score is average at 150. So let's look at our losses, expenditures, and wins over here. So um, we have lost a lot of our radar sets, and that was that was an issue in the early conflict. So we were blind. Um, and I think that's very, very indicative of what, of what Russia would probably do. We've lost more than nine radar sets uh, distributed throughout the Baltics. Um, and that was a big issue. We've also lost two most of our bridges. Um, Twelve bridges destroyed in total at the very least that I can tell. We've even lost Raptors. We've lost a many great deal of F-16s. So that's at least eight, eight F-16s or so with a couple of Albatrosses, Raptors mixed in. We've expended a lot of ammunition, most importantly the AM-120. More than 100 of these. These are very, very good um, anti-aircraft missiles. Air-to-air -air missiles. A couple of harms. Russia lost 20 SU-27s, 36 SU-24s, a couple of MiG-29s, a couple of ships, a couple of SU-35s, and Finland? Oh, <laughs> Finland also existed, of course. Did lose a couple of things. Eh, just a Hornet, really. That's interesting. You know what? I think I would like to uh, like to continue with this uh, scenario. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare uh, for for the strike here from Spangenar. It's going to be another five hours or so, um, and I'm going to run that off screen. And I'm going to um, launch the attack, if I can, on Kaliningrad. Uh, and just just to see whether that would be successful. So that being said, thank you guys uh, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little series. 
um, and I hope to see you guys next time around. Bye bye.